North Korea fired three unidentified projectiles into the East Sea on Monday, a week after the communist regime fired two short-range projectiles. According to South Korea's Joint Chief of Staff, the projectiles were fired northeastward from areas near the eastern town of Sandog in South Hamgyong province. The projectile reportedly flew up to 190 to 200 kilometers. Other details, including their type and flight altitude, were not immediately available. Sundog is well the North conducted the first known test of its super-large multiple rocket launcher in August. Last year, the North test launched missiles 13 times amid the stalled denuclearization talks with the United States. Last Monday, the communist country fired two projectiles from a super-large multiple rocket launcher after a three-month hiatus. Accordingly, Pyongyang could have tested the super-large multiple rocket launcher system again, possibly to reduce the firing intervals for operational deployment. The latest firings also came just five days after North Korean leader Kim Jong-un sent a personal letter to President Moon Jae-in and wished him and other South Koreans good health amid the massive outbreak of the novel coronavirus. Such a conciliatory gesture came as a surprise, as Kim's young sister Kim Yo-jong had issued a statement just the previous day, blasting Moon's office as gangster-like and foolish for complaining about Pyongyang's recent projectile launches. Therefore, some analysts say that the North's launch is a reaction to the statement issued by five European countries of the UN Security Council, including Britain, France, Germany, Belgium, and Estonia, condemning the North's recent launch of a super-large multiple rocket launcher. This was Liu Hyun-min from Korea Now.